A lot of people find painting things like trims, which are skirtings or architraves or window frames, to be really tricky. But you can renew the look of a room and get the perfect trims in two easy steps. So we've been doing prep on our window. I've got a drop sheet down. I've been putting a quality masking tape around the window on the areas where we don't want paint. Leah, how are you going? I'm going good, okay. Just about finished with the sanding and dusting and then we're good to go. Sweet. In a lot of older homes, you're gonna find the woodwork's got old oil-based enamel on. We're actually applying coats of water-based enamel over the top of that, but before we do, we need to put a coat of water-based undercoat on first. When painting a window frame, the best way to approach it is to start painting from the inside and work your way out. And then from the top down to the bottom. That way you get a lovely even finish. Okay, so our undercoat is dry, which is great. That means we can actually get some colour onto these window frames. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of using a white tone, which is the regular thing yeah. to do, we're actually going to go a darker colour on these window frames. It's on trend and it's going to give this room a really good contrast. Yep. But with that, what's a good painting technique that we need to keep in mind when we're painting a darker colour? Two things, dark colours and water-based enamel. You need to use a quality brush. Right. Two reasons, you get control and you don't get brush marks. Sounds like a good thing to me. Let's go. Let's do it. So we've got our two top coats of enamel now on our window frame and this gorgeous dark colour is really solid. It's coming together really well. So now we've done that mark, what's next? Okay, when you do the trims of a room, you always do the skirts last. The reason you do that is because no matter how careful you are, you always get some grit and dirt in your brush. You don't want that on your beautiful windows and doors. When you do skirting boards, treat them exactly like when you paint a wall. You don't want a loaded brush at the top or bottom because you've got no control. Put the paint on away from the edge first. Then, with less paint on your brush, it's so much easier to get that top and bottom edge without hitting the wall or the floor. Now, Leah, we finished the trims. And one of the things I love to do with the masking tape is peel it off as soon as I've finished painting while the paint's still wet. Why I do that is because then there's no bonding of the paint film and when you lift it off, it doesn't peel off any paint. Perfect, and how good does it look? Sensational. See, who knew you could renew this in two? Sensational.